The government's uh, planning on putting the legislation through, um, but not working out the details of the legislation. An exposure draft, that was the word I was looking for. So the government put out an exposure draft on a piece of legislation that will have massive effect on the agricultural industry. Now, the worrying part is this exposure draft will occur. They will then um, put the legislation through and work out the details over the next two years. Now, I spoke with a vet at length re recently. Um, so one of the things he said to me was this legislation, by not having the detail, will actually compromise animal welfare rather than improve animal welfare. So it's, it's going to have subjective language that's not based on science, so that what my opinion is of a positive experience for an animal might be very different to what somebody else's experience is. And when I've travelled the world and I've done that uh, on an agricultural scholarship and looked at um, agriculture in many countries around the world and I see a cow in um, Canada that um, stands in the one spot and looked after um, by the farmers there and as a farmer who farms in Australia who has animals outdoors, you know, it's quite a different setting. So if I had no knowledge of animals and hadn't worked with them, I'd probably think that that was quite extreme. Yet those animals in Canada are well looked after and uh, the farmers talk about their, uh, their animals like I've always experienced when I was at um, Mother's Group, that they, you know, have got the right mattress, they've got the right um, kit, they call it the right... Um, um, diet and you know but if someone comes to my farms in the past and said you know in winter they might see animals standing around a trough with uh, quite a lot of mud around the trough that their feet are in and they might say that's an unacceptable um, way for an animal be tr to be treated but if the animal's well and it's not affecting their feet and and you know it's 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 quite normal practice but somebody who's from the city who doesn't understand what uh animal practice normally is might be quite offended by that so they might think that's a negative experience you know, I come to Melbourne and I go to my um, where I have to stay when I'm here from you know Monday to Friday during a sitting week, and I see people getting the lift and they're getting in the lift with a, a Great Dane. And for me, I was really shocked that people would live in an apartment with a Great Dane. To me, that is uh, animal cruelty. That is um, a negative experience for a dog that I believe should be outside and and um, really enjoying their um, experience. So what's subjective for one is different for another and I think that's the point of the animal welfare um, bill that uh, we need to make sure there's science based not just opinion and what I saw and was shocked by because I'd never seen before that animal may well be as comfortable and enjoying life just like the cow in Canada that I just spoke about but because I'm not used to that it's the same subjective view.